Nations! Hola! It's Sora and the Beyond Positiva! This is Hot and Miss Shangwa. We welcome you to our Positive Action Weekly Lesson. La señora Hot y Shema os damos la bienvenida a las clases semanales de Positive Action. Thank you at home, school and community for joining us today for third grade Positive Action Lesson. Tanto si estáis en casa como en la escuela, gracias. Gracias por acompañarnos en los vídeos de Acción Positiva para tercero de primaria. Let's get started! ¡Empecemos! ¡Empecemos! Talk to God, go banging on his door You can throw your hands up, you can beat the clock You can move a mountain, you can break rocks You can be a master, don't wait for luck Dedicate yourself and you can find yourself Stay in the Hall of Fame uh. And the world's gonna know your name And you'll be on the walls in the Hall of Fame Be a champion Be a champion on the wall Be politicians, be preachers, yeah, yeah. Be believers, be leaders, be astronauts, be champions. Stand in the hall of fame. Yeah! It's time for positive actions. <laughs> Hola, Hola. es sola acción positiva. Good morning, possum partners and super scholars. Mrs. Hot here with Miss Shema. Miss Shema, hi, Miss Shema. Oh, hey, super scholars. We are so excited to join you for our positive action virtual lesson. We welcome you, whether you are in the classroom this week or maybe you're home for virtual learning or remote school or you're joining us from the neighborhood the morgan county partnership is so happy to have you with us on positive values network .com. are you ready super scholars let's get started all right it is time for pvnnews.com here's what we're going to do today First, we have a positive action video for you. And this week I've got one that's really cool. Are you curious what it might be? Stay tuned, stay tuned. And then after that, we are gonna have Let's Talk About It time. We're gonna talk about our new value word of the week. And then we have a positive action lesson for you. And then we'll close learning to say this week's positive action word curiosity in English and in Spanish. Are you ready? All right, let's get started. If you wish to make curiosity from scratch, you must first invent the universe. When I think of science, I think of a truly human activity, something fundamental to our DNA. That's what we do as human beings. Our ancestors who were not curious, who did not go looking over the hill to see what was on the other side, disappeared. Curiosity, in some ways, is like the opposite of judgment. You can't hate something if you're curious about it. And really, you can be curious about everything. Our species is young and curious and brave. It shows much promise. The more discoveries you make, the more you realize you don't know what's going on. The more you realize you don't know. Science is all around us, and science can be not only in your mind, but in your heart. It fills me with joy to make discoveries every day of things I had never seen before. It fills me to joy to know that we can pursue these answers. I have this disease. It has to do with curiosity. It has to do with people wondering what makes something do something. What we're looking for is how everything works. What makes everything work.
strengthen at the making of a little scientist, curiosity, asking questions, not getting the right answer, deciding to find out for yourself, making a mistake, not giving up, and learning patience. Curiosity, it's the most powerful thing you own. Imagination is a force that can actually manifest a reality. Stay curious. Whoa, curiosity. That's our positive word for the week, curiosity. Super scholars, who can tell me what the Lego structure was? Think about what you saw in the video and what was that Lego? Does anybody know? Do you know? Do you know? I think it's like a robot, <laughs> like a NASA robot. NASA robot, good job. It's the Mars rover and they named this rover Curiosity. Now let's talk about that word curiosity. Does anyone know what the word curiosity means? You do, Miss Shama, what is it? I think, I'm not sure, but maybe it's when you want to know more about something. Yep, isn't that easy? Yeah, curiosity is the desire to want to know more and learn more about something. And you know what, just like the video says, curiosity, is the most powerful thing you own. And your curiosity is a great action to have with you anywhere. Now, if you're home for remote school and you're curious, you'll never get bored, right, Ms. Shema? <laughs> and if you're in the classroom, your curiosity helps you learn. Helps you learn. And learning, boys and girls, is good for your, ready? Intellectual wellness. It's our unit that we're beginning this week. Our intellectual wellness. Now, can you all say that with me? Let's all do it together. Intellectual wellness. And our first positive action is your curiosity. Now, curiosity is a word that helps you have a healthy brain. And Mrs. Hot, see my hat, guys? Positive actions. When you feed curiosity to your brain, the chemicals in there get going and it stirs it up and it's healthy. Curiosity is great intellectual exercise for your brain. So anytime you're curious about something, you're doing a positive action. Miss Shema, I have a surprise to show you. Are you ready? Oh, I love surprises. I am curious, Mrs. Hub. I know, you don't know what it is. <laughs> Miss Shema doesn't know what it is. Are you curious? Your imagination is a force, okay? That when it manifests, that means when you put it together, it comes to life, it can become a reality. Imagination, your curiosity, is a manifestation that can become reality. Now, curiosity, what are you curious about? The people at NASA, they were curious about what is on Mars. So they created a robot to answer those questions. Now, you saw that was a Lego, right? Let me show you something. I'll do this one first. I'll bring it up like this. Look at that. I hope that focuses. This is another Lego, okay? This Lego was built by Isaac, and it is, you might not know the place, it's the Guggenheim Museum. And museums are full of beautiful things that were from people using their curiosity. Another Lego. Now my son Isaac, when he was in intermediate school, and Levi too, built things with Legos all the time. They were curious. And they used their imagination to manifest something, many, many things. Beautiful art, sculptures, paintings, books in a place like this. Hold on, I got another one, Shayma. Wait till you see this one. Are you ready, Mrs. Hunt? Here comes another thing that I'm curious about. Wow! What is that, Mrs. Hunt? Isn't this beautiful? Now, this is another Lego, right? Like you saw the Lego of the Mars rover, the Guggenheim Museum, and now this is a Lego of an architectural structure not far from us in Pennsylvania called Falling Waters. 
It's really cool. Here it comes, Super Scholars. Look at this. Does anybody know what this building is? You're right. This is a Lego structure of the White House. Pretty cool, huh? Now Isaac made this again when he was in intermediate school using his curiosity. He was curious about the branches of the government. Actually, it looks pretty neat back here too. This is the west side and the west lawn, okay? And this is the east side that faces the mall. And you can see up here a Lego American flag. Now, curiosity, imagination, the most powerful thing you can own. Imagination is a force from your intellectual wellness that can become a reality. Now, you know what, guys? I'm excited to share the White House with you because recently we have had some changes in our federal government with a new president, President Biden, and a new vice president, Vice President Kamala Harris, who is the first woman. Now, do you think when she was little, she imagined that she would someday be the vice president? She was curious, wasn't she? And she fueled her curiosity. And now look, boys and girls, isn't that exciting? So let's talk about this some more. Next, I wanna share some positive actions to help us build our curiosity. Things that Isaac did to build those Legos, things that NASA did to make a robot to go to Mars, and things that Kamala Harris has done to become vice president. Isn't that cool? I really love that. All right, are you ready, Miss Shama? Positive action number one. Ask questions. Woo! Right, ask questions. Who, what, where, when, why, how, ask questions. Positive action number two. I like this one too. Decide, decide to discover, just like the, like, like the video says. When you have a question, make the decision to say, hey, I want to know, I want to learn more. Okay. Number three, have an open mind, okay? Your intellectual wellness, you need to have an open mind. Don't close yourself off and say, oh, I don't want to know anything because they're different from me. Be open-minded to new ideas. Number four, I like this one a lot, Miss Shane. Are you ready? I'm ready. Make mistakes. Mess up. Oops. Fail. Whoops. <laughs> Make mistakes because your curiosity is going to lead you to discover the answers. Sometimes you get a wrong answer. That's okay. Make mistakes. Five. Don't give up. Okay, when you make a mistake, it's just an opportunity to try again. And six. Be patient. I hope I counted that right. Patience, okay? Your curiosity was is going to be great for your brain. Your brain gets healthier and be patient with it and continue to learn more. Now, finally, before we go, some things you can do where you can ask those questions. Okay, this is super important. Okay, where to go? Look for people, okay? People at home, school, and your community. Ask questions to people. Go to books. Go to books. Where do you find books? Look online, look on the library. And three, on the internet. Ask questions on the internet. Google's great. Be safe, go to safe spaces. Look online, you'll find a whole bunch of people. And that's what I want to close with, groups. Also, look for groups who are curious, too, about the same things that you're curious about, okay? Groups of people. And together, when you include others in your group, we talked about inclusion last week, okay? Together, their ideas and your ideas, your curiosity comes, to get, comes together, and wow! Think of where you can go. Hmm. Maybe you'll build a new structure. Maybe you'll build a new robot to go to another planet. Or maybe you could be vice president. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? All right. Okay, boys and girls, next we have this great activity, okay? And we're gonna answer the question, what are you curious about? Check it out.
All right, Super Scholars, Curiosity, Building Healthy Brains for Intellectual Wellness. Curiosity is the strong desire to learn or know. Think about what you are curious about and write it down. Fill in the blank, I am curious about what? Now you'll find your positive action activity on positivevaluesnetwork.com. Just look under the materials tab or grab a sheet of paper and write, I am curious about, and then fill in the blank. Below that, let's take a look and draw what you are curious about. Hmm, what Shema and Ithaca? They're curious too. And remember, positive actions to help build your healthy brain are to ask questions, decide to make discoveries, keep an open mind, make mistakes, don't give up, and have patience. And remember, you can help your curiosity by talking to others, looking in books, going to safe sites on the internet, or joining a group with similar interest. And that's how we build our intellectual wellness. Next, circle the positive action you will do this week. Look, Shama's going to ask questions and then decide where will you build your curiosity. Shama's looking for books and online. What will you do? from Woodmire Elementary School. Hope you guys are staying safe and healthy. Wanted to share with you all a little bit of doodle activity um, that goes along with our positive action board this week, curiosity. So here are the different coloring sheets that I've created with different quotes about curiosity. So you can color these and decorate them and place them in a window um, to show the neighbors, delivery people, anybody that might be stopping by your house, or you can color and decorate them and give them to someone that you care about. So the first one says, curiosity is the wick in the candle of learning. And the second one says, curiosity will conquer fear even more than bravery will. And feel free to look up your own quotes about curiosity or create your own and decorate them and, and place them wherever you see fit or give them to somebody that you care about. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Thank you. Job doing that activity. Mrs. Hot and Miss Shama wants you to save your activity and remember what you're curious about and fuel it. Fuel that curiosity with positive actions. All right, Miss Shama, can you share with us? I'm curious. How do you say curiosity in Spanish? The same letter like English and goes like similar to English. So curiosity in English and in Spanish is curiosidad. Ooh, that sounds cool. Curiosidad. Curiosidad. Cool. Curiosidad. Curiosidad. Can you guys say it? Try it. Curiosidad. That's awesome. Curiosidad. What are you curiosidad about? That's so cool. Oh, All right. Good. This is so good. This is so <laughs> okay, super scholars. Mrs. Hot, Miss Shaman, we'll see you next week for another value word for your brain, your intellectual wellness. Remember, this week, be curiosidad. <laughs> Say it right. And remember this you are unique. You are important and you are wonderfully made. Hey, Super Scholars, for more fun family art, join Miss Mandy, social worker from the Morgan County Partnership, with great activities this week all about our word curiosity. You'll find it on positivevaluesnetwork.com materials tab. Have fun! We are so glad you joined us today from your home, your school, and our community. Estamos muy felices porque nos habéis acompañado desde vuestra escuela, vuestra casa, vuestra comunidad. Remember, you are unique. 
you are important and you are wonderfully made. Recordad que sois especiales, importantes y maravillosos. <laughs>